I'm Alan Varsic, and I'm the director here at Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium. I've been with Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium for four years and been working in zoos and aquariums for about 35. This year has been like, unlike any year in, in my career. Uh, and I think it's true for everybody that we've never experienced anything quite like this. And for Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium, it's been especially challenging. You know, we are dependent on our, our operational revenue and uh, our, our guests coming to visit. And so being closed for a few months has had, had traumatic influences on our, our revenues. And even now in our modified state of, of operations with an unknown future, it's, it's incredibly challenged, challenging for us. So we've had to take some steps that uh, I didn't think we'd ever have to take in, in, in my career of really identifying those roles that are essential to our viability into the future. Uh, so that has meant uh, laying off of some of our, our part-time staff, uh, some of our full-time staff. So roughly, we've, I'm anticipating that we're gonna be down about 15% of, of our full-time staff by the end of the year. The challenge for us is that 70% of our operations are about caring for our animals. And you know, when, when people ask me, gee, how is the zoo doing? I have to tell them, okay. But you have to remember, we can't furlough our animals. We have that same level of care every day, regardless if we're open or closed. So that's been a real challenge. We've had to, to prioritize that. And I'm, I'm really proud of, of how we've responded because I don't feel we've, we've lessened the quality of our care in any way. But we do have a challenge moving forward of ensuring that that continues. Hi, I'm Dr. Karen goodrow -Beck, and I'm the general curator here at Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium. What that means is I'm basically in charge of oversight of all the animals, animal care, and the staff that work with the animals. So during the time of COVID, it's presented us with some significant challenges for animal care. A lot of times we do things in pairs or teams, and now we have to try and find ways to stay further apart. And we also have challenges with some of the species that are actually uh, susceptible to COVID, and we certainly don't want to make them ill. So we've had to modify how we work with some of the animals as well. And that can be really challenging because part of providing excellent animal care is having a great relationship, not only with the staff, with each other, but also with those animals. And when you can't get up close to them or work with them as intimately as you used to, it's a real challenge for us. The staff here at Point Defiance are simply remarkable. They do show up every day. Animal care never stops. It's, it's seven days a week, 52 weeks a year, every day. Holidays, bad weather, horrific smoke, even a pandemic where people were told to stay home. These staff did not stay home. They showed up for the animals. They're so passionate. It's what drives them. It's, it's what makes them tick. Here we are, this fabulous facility that not only do we have a great animals and a beautiful horticultural setup and the best view probably in the world of Puget Sound and Mount Rainier. But we also have a staff that interact with the community, with our visitors through doing close encounters with our animals, our conservation engagement staff, interacting with people, presenting programs. This is something you do, that is so unique to Tacoma and to the, all of South Puget Sound. It really is a shining star, a jewel for us in this community. We have people come now that when they remember when they were kids coming to the zoo and share their memories. I mean, these are, are certainly serious times for us. You know, we are been in that situation where we're always evolving who we are to, to better achieve our mission, to better connect our audience with, with nature and how we influence nature. Well, this experience has, has really brought that to the surface because we need to have that appreciation now more than ever. Uh, we need to be more culturally relevant than we've ever been before. And there's a, a specific need out there. And we do that via our animals. Our, our animals are the, the storytellers and taking good care of them is, is critical to us. So I'm, I'm especially concerned about how we will both continue that care and evolve to, to be the zoo and aquarium of the future.
we, we really need your help in, in moving forward and to ensure that we're here next year, that we're here five years from now, and that our animals receive great care every step of the way.